Hello ladies, today I wanted to go over uh, with you how to actually set up Oboe Blocker, which is a porn blocking software on your computer. Um, these steps might not be exactly as I have them written there in my blog, but it will demonstrate to you all uh, aspects of it. First thing I want you to do is go to Computer, click on C, Program Files, and then find, oops, excuse me, I got that wrong, Program Files 86, Java. Okay, this is where I wanted you to create a folder that looks kind of like whatever you have in there. I only have this one at the moment because I just did a fresh install of Windows 7. Otherwise, I'd probably have like four or five of these in here. So what I'm going to do is right click, New Folder. And I'm going to name it something similar to this, you know, and the whole purpose of this here is just to hide it from your perv. We just basically want it to look um, like it belongs here. So let's do 1.6.0 underscore 03. Okay? That looks like it belongs there, right? Now, we're going to go into this actual one that was here, and what I want you to do is copy all of these files. They're not going to in any way harm your computer. Go back, open up this, and paste them in here. That just makes it look like again it belongs here. Now I don't know if your guy is as smart as mine but I am taking all of these steps just to ensure that he does not find my program and delete it. Okay? And if you notice in this one here we also have these two files called bin and lib which is short for library. We're going to also create these files in our new folder but we're not going to copy these because they have stuff in them that we don't want. We're just going to make it look the same. Okay? So we'll go back over here to our file, new folder, BIN, new folder, LIB. Okay? That's what we're going to do before we set up our program. Easy enough, right? Okay. Close that out. Then, what I want you to do is Google Obo Blocker Porn Filter. I'm not sure if I gave you the URL. If I didn't, I'll go ahead and go back and put it in there. I have this because they sent it to me. Um, it's a new upgrade. I had version 3.0 and currently they are on 3.1. And if you do purchase the software, you are entitled to free lifetime upgrades. So I'm going to click here. It is downloading my software. Um, I'm going to use this one here just because it doesn't have the one or two after it. Go ahead and open that up. Okay. Now here's another part that uh, I thought you might need help with. So, on the first screen after you click next, this is the default location that this program is going to install to. We want to change this. And this is where our files that we just created come into play. So, we're going to go back into Program Files 86, Java, and here's the file that we just created. We want to click that because that's where we... Oops, actually let's do this. We're going to click it and go into bin. Okay, Highlight bin. That is where we are going to install our software. Okay, And then we want to go up here and we don't want this name Oboe Blocker showing anywhere because we don't want him to see that. So I'm just going to change it to something like, you know, whatever, <laughs> anything. Okay, click next. Again, 1.0.3. Although this here is just what's going to show when you put it over here, and we're going to delete that anyway, so um, click next. Install. Cool. Now this is what we're going to see here. If you have purchased the product, you're going to put your product key in, or you're going to click try it. Okay, the default password on this program is 888, and then you type that in, you click setting, and it pops up here. Um, it has already a built-in content filtering engine, 
you're going to want to keep that checked because that gives you a nice base to start out with. And then if you want to add any other uh, words, you just go ahead and click add, you know, type it in, click OK. Over here on this side is your whitelist. If you want to put anything in here, let's say uh, you're surfing the net and you go, oh my gosh, um, I can't get on eBay. So you click it over here, ebay.com, OK. Now you shouldn't have any problems. All right. One thing I wanted to tell you, and I found this out the hard way, <laughs> when you click exit, that closes the program out. We don't want to do that. We want it to run. We just want it to run in stealth mode, which it does by default, unless you click exit. Okay. When you're done using this and you've clicked save settings, okay, just come up here and close the window. That's all you got to do. It is now running stealthy. <laughs> okay, um, then we want to come over here into our start menu, and here's that folder. You know, we don't want him to find this, right? So we want to just right click on it and delete it. Okay, and then there's one other thing, and this is all concerning uh, hiding it. <laughs> We're going to come back up to computer, go back into C, program files 86. Java. Go into our file and then we want to go into bin which is where we put the application and the 1.03. Here it says obo blocker. We want to right click on that, rename it 1.0.3. 1.0.3. Ta-da! There you go. Now you are running stealthy and all you really want to make sure you do now you do want to go back and find your downloads folder, okay? Open it up. Um, make sure it isn't in there anywhere. Um, it's somewhere. <laughs> Search for Oboe Blocker. Um, your setups. You want to actually open this up and delete everything that you have. Delete it from your uh, downloaded folders file. Um, actually, I think that's in mine's in Google Downloads. I don't know why, because I can never find anything. Google, uh, let's see, Google, I'm gonna put Google Downloads. Not there. Hmm. All right. Well, make sure you go in. It should be in. If you're not running um, Chrome, it should be in your Downloads folder file, and just make sure that you go in and delete that, and then, of course, go in your trash can and delete that. So, um, until next time, block that porn. <laughs>